It's now on Home Design. We're joined, as always, by Hamish, and you brought along your good mate, Jeff. How That's are you, right. Hamish? I'm good, thank you, and it's always nice to have Jeff in. And uh, this week we're going to be having a chat about technology in the bathroom. Oh, nice, and we'll get to these taps very soon. Welcome, Jeff. How are you? You good? Good, thanks, Mike. Good. Yes. I love it when you bring toys to play with, but you're going to show us some very cool toys. Uh, let's talk so uh, firstly about the Methvin Safe Flow. So what is that? Uh, it's a new, new development that Methvin have created within a standard shower mixer, so it's a... Uh, I guess a simplified version of a thermostatic mixer. It stops if someone uses the, the uh, water in another room, it stops the hot spikes from coming through. Oh, that's uh, good. I like that. Well, yeah. I'm getting yeah. the kids out of the yeah. shower yeah. with that one there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're in there for good, I'm afraid. So. <clears throat> but it just takes the fluctuations out, out of showering and stuff when there's other people using uh, water in, the, in other rooms of the house. OK, nice. Mm. Um, uh, it's especially great for kids, that particular one, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the last thing you want is um, kids screaming, getting burnt and stuff in the, in the shower. So. Speaking of showers, really expensive. You'll love this, Hamish. Really yeah, expensive this, this outdoor showers. Shower? This is just for Hamish. I really I love put, showers. I'm a shower yeah, man. What yeah, have we got? Yeah. That's this, a shower? That's an outdoor outdoor shower. <laughs> um, it's Italian made. It has two uh, rain heads, as you yeah. can see, see there. Uh, complete showering experience, you could say. So, <laughs> wow. With a, with a price no tag walls. of over $70,000, you'd want Woo! it to be. <laughs> 70 grand with no walls. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I think I want some walls yeah. There'd be horrified that. locals if I was out there. <laughs> Children running for the hills. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, let's move from the showers, the very expensive showers, to toilets. What have you got for us in that department? Uh, oh, the, the Cola Vale. Um, it's a bidet and toilet in one. It's um, just about completely automated. Comes with a remote control with all the different functions that you can um, use on it. It has sensor touch as you walk up to it. The lid comes up. Oh yeah, oh, that'll be handy. This is the uh, B B day wand. It's like R two D two. It does. Yes. You know, uh, I've two, experienced two different functions on there too. Yeah, I've experienced the old B day. I quite like Have you it. Just? Yeah. <laughs> you know, my mother told yeah. me once that she was away and so she, she wanted to cool her feet after walking all day around Paris, so she put her feet in it. I was horrified. <laughs> Who does that? Indeed. So it has a lot of lot of different features: UV cleaning, sanitising, uh, heated seat. Wow. You name it, it pretty much does. Because you need that UV cleaning on it. Because I was thinking that when I was, I was reading up a bit about it, you mm. know, cleaning that sort of thing is obviously going to be difficult, but it takes care of it all itself. Uh, it takes care of all the cleaning itself. So you yes, is that what all that mist was that I saw on that image before? Yeah, it's a, oh, part of that's de deodorising from a, a smell oh. point of view. So, oh. so n no secrets are given away. Um, but also, too, it, it, um, the UV light and then it sanitises it as well with um, sanitised water. I'm sold. How much is one of these things? Uh, around sort of four, four and a half grand. A little bit more than the standard toilet. A little bit no, but more worth it. You think about it. You'd hardly ever have to clean it. And they say Mike's that, sold. Yeah, they say you go to the throne. Well, that is literally That's a that, throne. That is That's a throne. throne. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Uh, now, you, what else have we got in terms of baths? Uh, bars, I mean, freestanding bars, drop-in bars uh, are all the rage, but this one here I thought was <gasps> pretty cool. Oh, that's out um, of control. That, that's actually someone, that's a decal on a plain bath, and I thought it was quite good to bring in for people to see because you can take a standard white bath yeah. and yeah. turn it into whatever you like. You know, you can go crazy like that. I, you could put, I would have never even thought of doing that. Yeah. You would love that's, that as a that's designer. A, that's a great idea. Yeah, I thought that's so cool. When I saw it, I was like, yeah, got to show that to you guys. Yeah, so, no, so you can get that done from one of the companies that, like, wraps cars or something. Yeah, like that, yeah, absolutely. You can put anything you like on it, you know. So oh. it's just customising it to, to suit your own space and yourself and your personality. That's very cool. Nice work, Jeff. Yeah, no, that yeah. is. Personalised baths. <laughs> we like that. In there. I like it. I, like I was it. thinking of you when I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is great technology, yeah. but now we turn our attention to taps. What have you got here for us? Well, they, yeah. these are uh, a few different suppliers that we deal with, but I just brought them in just to show a range of different colours, a few different designs where, where, where the design side of things are happening. I know Hamish is yes. a design and colour man. Nice. Um, <laughs> and, and like you can see on, on that one there, I mean, that's just the different colours you can get for one, one type of tap, you know. So we're really moving into colours are it at the moment. Um, and, and it just enables people to really sort of make the bathroom their own, put their own personality and taste on it. Um, and these are some of the samples in, in real life because looking at something like that doesn't give you the true effect of true. looking at the actual real thing. And so we, we were talking about some of the brush finishes now. Mm. Um, they they won't age in patina, will they? So you get to stick with the, the, the colour and the look you get. That's right. So the, these ones here are actually electroplated, so it's mm -hmm. the same sort of process as what you get with chroming. Mm -hmm. So it's got the durability, but as you say, it's, it has also 
uh, the wearability as well. So it's going to stay looking good from, from day one. Need, need to explain to Mike how the little lever works on that oh, one. That, that one, that, there, that one there, your, your typical mixer has a hot on off and then hot yep. and cold like that. I'm trying to do it backwards. So Whereas that there is off and, and that turns the hot on as well. Ah, so okay, it's see, an all right. in one. So the further around yeah. you get, the hot hotter the water. Uh, yeah. Makes nice. it easy to set. I like that. Okay, cool. Yeah. And you know, Hamish, from a designing point yes. of view, what, what's the trend at the moment? Well, we are seeing a lot more of the metal finishes, and we have uh, for a while probably not done as well. You know, okay. that was that sort of initial push mm. when we started to shift into it, but I think it seems to have been refined a lot more now. We are seeing the use of black. We're seeing people, rather than just going for your standard chrome look, we're seeing it being tied into the design and the style of the bathroom. Right. So, Good. you know, people are using chrome, of course, because it reflects Ooh. every colour. That's yes. the key. And you can get things like that. I like this. that. That's my favourite. I uh, like that too. It's kind of, it's got kind of a vintage -y Yeah, no, it is. Hey, well, look, great work. Thank you. There's That's some right. fascinating products there. No um, some very expensive ones as well. <laughs> Dream <laughs> showers, I think. $70,000 <laughs> right. no wall shower. <laughs> thank you, Hamish, and thank you, Jeff, for more details on any of the systems we've talked about today. You can pop into one of Jeff's stores or go to his website, pex.co.nz. Thank you very much, lads. Have a good day.